Welcome back. I taught a little bit of a online class in between these two. So I'm just jumping back to after a couple hour break from this picture and I'm ready to add in my trees. So because we're doing a nighttime picture, I'm going to use just black for my trees. I'm gonna use my medium round brush and black paint. And I'm gonna add a couple of trees in the background, but I'm also gonna put some in the foreground. So to do that, when I make my trees, I always start with the letter Y. So I'm just gonna start right here with the letter Y. I find it's a really easy way to teach people how to make trees, especially since we're gonna be adding some spring flowers to these trees. And then from there, I just continue to make the letter Y. So if you see, I just made another one. Maybe I need to pull one out this way and make a letter Y there. I can add a couple of little jets off of this one, but then that tree's pretty much done. It's off in the background. We don't need to have too much detail on it. Maybe thicken that trunk up a little bit. Then I'm gonna put two over here on this side. So again, I'm gonna start with the letter Y. This one might be a little bit taller than my last one. Just a little bit taller of a letter Y. And then again, like I said, I'm just gonna add some little down shoots of that letter. Maybe another little Y over here with an extra little arm to him. And then my third one's gonna be right over here and I'm gonna make this guy kind of small. I don't need him to be really big. We are gonna be adding some flowers to these so we don't need them to be super big. And then I'm going to put some branches. So my trees are gonna be out here in this outside space. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some branches. And just like I did with before, I, I can start with the letter Y. And I can make these branches that look like they're just kind of entering the picture from my outside space. And I don't need to add a whole lot because the color we're going to be putting on these will be detail enough. So the same thing over here. I'm gonna start with my same letter Y. From that letter Y, I'm just gonna add extra little Ys coming off of there. Maybe some of them I'm just gonna add an extra little line on. Sometimes they can overlap each other a little bit. Perfect. So now I have this great outline of my trees. Now, if you do not wanna make yours a spring picture, maybe you wanna put some green on yours, you could just do a mixture um, that's different than your background. So maybe a lighter green or a darker green, but I'm actually gonna use pink for mine. I think the pink is gonna stand out really well on this picture. So I'm gonna take pink and white and I'm gonna put them right next to each other on my palette so that I can grab a little bit of both by going back and forth just like this. So I've got both on my paintbrush. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop little itty bitty lines of pink on my canvas. Some are gonna be darker than others. I do not have to make them stick directly to a tree branch. They're just gonna kind of fill in the space. But I am gonna be mindful that I don't have what looks like a cotton candy tree. And a cotton candy tree is a tree where it's just got a big ball of flowers on top. So we want to make sure that our tree shape itself is a little bit varied. It's not a solid form. So it's not going to be just a circle. Now I'm not super worried if some of my black mixes in with my pink. All that's going to do is that's going to darken up the pink, give it a little bit of a shadow texture. Now here's what I'm gonna tell you not to do. You don't wanna go at the end of every branch and do just spots of color because then what it looks like is um, lines with blobs. You do wanna fill in some of that extra space in the middle so that it does look like it is a full tree shape. Perfect. I'm gonna make this one go up just a little bit higher over here. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start on my trees in my background, adding some little small stippling dots. I got a little bit too much black in there, so I'm wiping my brush off. And that will happen, you know, if you're putting a light color right on top of some black paint, you're gonna get some mixing. I don't always mind the mixing, but I do wanna be mindful that I don't get a muddy pink color. Shot my last tree. Those beautiful little dots in there. I think I can call it finished. I'm gonna take my paintbrush with the color that'll stand out. So I'm gonna use this pink. I'm gonna sign my name. Thanks for joining me again today on Painting with a Purpose. I hope you enjoyed your waterfall picture. Remember to share this on Facebook, share your finished product on Facebook on our Painting with a Purpose page. I always love to see what you guys are coming up with. Have a great day.